Hey everybody, welcome back to Squirrel Stampede Plays Minecraft. Finally, we are back, episode 55. Where have we been? What have we been doing? Really nothing here. It's funny, we've just been so busy all summer. We just missed uh, playing. So we're back, we're back. Let me reintroduce myself. My name is Dan. We have been playing Minecraft now for 55 episodes. Over 55 years of playing Minecraft, if you can believe it. Joining me today is... A green-headed Ben Ultra 21 in a suit because he's excited we're back and lazy kitty 10k is here what do you know what do you know so today's episode we are going to build ourselves a haunted mansion a haunted house lazy kitty 10k suggested a haunted house because it is spooky season and it thought we don't have a haunted house uh, in our neighborhood so let's walk over to where we are thinking about building Let's head down the steps. Do you remember this place? Do you remember? I barely remember this place. Got our diamond sword outpost. We have our... Whoa, where did that come from? We've got a construction over here that just appeared. It looks to be an iron golem fortress. How did that get in there? Inspired by Lego. Let's just kind of fly up here. It's not complete. It needs a little bit of moss to it. Uh, but it has joined the landscape nonetheless. And I think we can go in through the bottom here. In fact, uh, there's a little door and a uh, blast furnace and a table here. And uh, really no way to get upstairs. Uh, we forgot to build upstairs an upstairs route. We'll have to work on this a little more. There's our second floor with our yellow bed and a cyan blue bed. Just a blue bed, I think, light blue. And then up to the, the top here, there's a map room on our skull cranium headpiece of our giant giant golem to watch and protect us so that is pretty neat oh man so it's been forever i've got so many squirrel pictures to share i think what i'm going to be doing it'll just be a little easier today is i'll drop in a squirrel picture here and there and you'll see it i won't be able to credit it uh, things are a little mixed up here uh, I won't be able to credit voice wise, but I will put a little credit next to it. So if you see your picture pop up, thank you for drawing us squirrels. It's so cool to see all the artwork that was sent in over the summer. And we will continue to share squirrels, so don't forget to send them in over at Instagram, is usually the best place. There's our new squirt museum. It was mostly finished last time. In fact, uh, we'll just take a quick walk through here just to remember, refresh. Ah! What is Steve doing there? That guy gets me every time. That's the check-in. And we'll walk around here. And there's no squirt on the walls. This is where I should be putting squirt. Uh, everyone has been sending in. This was found in a cave in 1955 by William Trad, the discoverer. Uh, and that was there. We've got more pictures here. Maybe next time I'll share a bunch of squirrel art on this wall. Uh, we've just been so far behind. I've got like a million pictures to go through. But yeah, this was our squirt museum, a new and improved land and over here was the uh what was this the saber tooth squirrel rex skeleton uh we might just have to make a museum someday for our squirrel so uh there's what we did last time we were gonna put a little gift shop here but we have not got there yet uh but that is what we did last time so let's head over over to our haunted mansion territory we thought we figured uh this way there's the beetroot museum beetroot restaurant uh and we're gonna walk across this most dangerous cave. Remember, there is a dripstone squirrel down there somewhere. A dripstone squirrel. And here we go. We thought this would be a great, great pad area for a haunted house. So, anybody know, anyone decide what haunted floor we should make? Have we discovered, have we figured out that? What is, what is our option for haunted floor? Anybody? Oh, this right here, uh, Ben Ultra says Acadia wood. Is that what that is? Mangrove. Is that mangrove wood? That's not bad for the inner floor. It's kind of blood red. We can kind of work with that, maybe. What do you think, Lazy Kitty? Are you good with that? Pretty good with that? We could also put some other material around it, some dark stone that you found. So let's let's go with the mangrove. Um, let's pull it back. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Well, it doesn't have to be official. Let's pull it back a little bit. Let me find find the mangrove wood. Now, we have since moved on into... Uh, creator creative mode it's just a little easier in building and finding things um, and apparently I, I'm having trouble finding things even though I played a whole bunch the other day uh, mangrove log 
There's some uh, mangrove log. I need mangrove wood. Ah, crimson planks. That's not what I want. I want mangrove planks. Is that what you're using? Mangrove planks? Yeah. Mangrove. Man. Okay, I found it after 20 years of looking. There it is. So the art squirt is kind of what we're thinking in scale. Uh, we want it to be level somewhat with the road. No, we, it could be a little bit raised up. Um, so maybe we start popping it in like on this this level height would be interesting. This level height and how so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And um, that's pretty good. That's pretty good in, in length. Um, as in length from the road. That way we can put a little detail in front of the road. And then we'll go back another 10. Oh, oh, are you going to go back 20? Go back 20 or so. Ben Ultra's got that. Not exactly sure if that's 20 or not. And then for width wise, I think we're going to go about. Um, I don't know actually we're, we're doing this on the fly maybe we'll just visually do it and go oh, that looks good and start and start hacking away at this this could be the floor what do you think that's pretty good so let's square this out let's go all the way back and square this and did I do that I must have done that or is lazy kitty above me all right well we'll square this little platform out real quick and then we can move on to building the walls. <laughs> Okay, there we go. There's our footprint so far. Maybe a little big, maybe a little small, but we do need to have a lot of room for this sucker if we're going to have a small little ride to take us through it. Uh, I think it's good so far. So now we're going to figure out what kind of wall we've got going. Lazy Kitty has an option. She's going to throw that down. So a dark oak is what we're looking for in wall construction. I really wish they had like a gray wood, but I think dark wood will work just fine if I can find it on my screen. Okay, so we're gonna start this way. We want a little patio up front and maybe even a side patio and then we might have to go deeper. Um, yeah, perfect, Ben Ultra, perfect. So definitely go up to the side here and stop right, oops, not there, right there, right? And we might go deeper now, just a little deeper so that we have some room for the inside. I'm not exactly sure how much. Ooh, it's getting night and spooky now. Uh, oh, don't build the back end of Ben Ultra yet because we might, we might go deeper. In fact, let's not even build the back wall yet. Um, we'll build the sides. I think we're good with the sides, right? And then, why is there a tree in my way? There's a tree in, and a rabbit in my way. Um, just kind of leave it open for a second so we can kind of, kind of fiddle here. Uh, now there's some flesh rotten flesh just standing there it's it's perfect it's perfect for halloween look at that perfect for spooky season i'll just put a couple torches there for fun okay what do we got there's our haunted mansion so far put a little torch there Ooh. all right so uh do we what happens we enter our house and um i don't know it's like do we make a great room when we first enter what what are we what are we gonna see here what are we going to see when we first enter our uh, room here? we got to figure this this out. Um, and then does the ride, is there going to be like a little ride that starts in here and then wobbles around? Um, hard to say. Hard to say right now because we're all just trying to figure this out. Hmm. Hmm. It's like maze building time. Maze building time. I feel like this needs to be opened up a little more. Maybe even just... Um, so here kind of a front wall entrance and the ride would come back through here um, and end right here maybe. Maybe someone should like draw us a track. That's what I could do. 
I could work on a track and then we can kind of build the rooms around it. Okay, so let me find a track. Okay, so maybe I can start by putting in a, a, a guesstimate track. I don't know if this is correct. Um, and then maybe we could uh, just, you know, add it, add while we're going in. What do you think, guys? Um, can we build rooms around this? Would we be able to build something around this little haunted mansion track? Lazy Kitty requested three blocks around the track. So I'm, I'm totally guesstimating here. Totally guesstimating what we're doing. Whoa, 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 dizziness, dizziness. I think I just got casted a spell by a witch and lost connection. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. That was weird. Of course I go right over the torch I put down. And remember, this isn't at all 100%. We can change this. We'll probably want to build walls around this somehow and then decorate them and put scary things in. Okay. Da -da -da. Okay, what do you think? How about that? Something like that maybe? And then we can um, build walls around that accordingly. And you want, we don't have to build the walls right at the rail, Lazy Kitty, because you might want to be in an open room too. So think about that. Like um, some areas it will be tight and we'll have wall art and then other rooms might be open um, as we go through, I wonder. Um, it could be really a lot of different things. Like for example, this Oop, uh, leave that open for just a second. Um, this could be like um, a great ballroom <laughs> or or more like a small table room. Um, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, what do you think? I don't know, maybe you had the right idea. Maybe you had, a, had the better idea there. There we go, there we go. It's kind of interesting, kind of spooky interesting. Yeah. And then I suppose I suppose we're good to put in a back wall now. We might have to extend um, extend the footprint one more. Oop, 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 oop. There we go. That zombie really wants to join in. Oh, we're tight. We're we're open over here. I guess we can pull destroy that. Ah, jeez. Oh my goodness. What did I do? What did I do? Should we do bars? Is that what you said? The the comment just disappeared before I could you read it. Why did it do that? Should we do bars? Yeah, that'd be great. I like that. Anything spooky. It's up to our our total creativity here today. Total creativity. Ooh, I like the redstone torches inside. That's creepy. That's really creepy. And I like how we have zombies in our basement. That's creepy. I'm just gonna kind of extend this. Oop. Extend this wall a little bit. Maybe I can come in from this way. There we go. Oh, zombie, you're in my way. Go, you're in my way, dude. Build around him, I guess. Lazy Kitty's just hammering him. Or is that Ben Ultra? Ben Ultra's hammering him. And, okay. There we go. Oh, I guess we had a, um, a two-block rim, and I, I destroyed this side, didn't I? Oops. <laughs> okay, I'll put it back. You gotta have, like, a little porch going around your haunted mansion. Okay, let's go stand over by the road and see what we got. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, ah, lazy kitty. <laughs> oh, we've been awake so long that there are phantoms in the sky. That's perfect. Perfectly festive. Well, let's, I guess, build up these walls taller, maybe? Taller? Um, and if you guys want to start adding in some spooky things, uh, go for it. Um, I'm not sure how the windows are going to be. Do you want to add in some windows too? Um, we need to get to the cave. Oh, okay, that's right. So if you want to, at some point, maybe at the middle of the ride. So we were thinking that the ride would take us down under this cave. Remember how there was a cave down here? And we thought it'd be cool to drop the ride into a little bit of this cave. Um, way down here. Oh, 
Whoa, I'm falling down this cave. Whoa, my gosh. Way down here somewhere is Dripstone Squirrel. And uh, is it this way? Um, I'm entering areas I've never been before. Um, and I've got myself lost. Uh, okay, back up. Back up to the top. Wow, what a cave this was. What a cave. Whoa. <laughs> I've embedded myself into a ceiling somewhere. Um, hmm. I'm lost in the cave. Help me. Help me, one Obi Wan Kenobi. Okay. Uh, back, back up this way. So yeah, we what we should do is somewhere where you think we could break the track and go down, and then eventually reconnect to the other end of the track is is what we got to do. And we'll definitely uh, go into the track of the cave. Where do you think that would be a good spot? Right there. We go down. We come back in. I'm digging, says Lazy Kitty. Not bad. That's pretty good. Okay, ooh, that looks haunted and scary. And over here. Um, I think I'll just build a perimeter around this thing really quick. We'll add in some windows. Um, might want to add, might want to destroy the bottom trim and turn that into cobblestone or something stony. Um, have some stonework in here, but we don't have to worry about that right now as we're just kind of getting a footprint going. Something like that. I miss when the uh, the downside of being in creative mode is I miss the, the attacks. We used to have attacks coming in all the time and you never know when and where and what and how when we are going to get attacked. And I suppose so we want it to be a two-story building and that means that uh, the track might want to go upstairs too at some point. So we're going to have to kind of kind of uh, think of that. I guess the first plan is how tall do we want the first floor? How tall? I'm thinking at least four, maybe five bricks. We're probably going to go five bricks in height. Five blocks, I should say. Five blocks in height. Then we can build a second floor. So that is what? One, two, three. Let's go one more. Whoop. And we can go this way. One more that way. It's going to be pretty fearsome. It's going to be a pretty imposing haunted house, I think. Way more haunted than our Christmas tree. And hopefully we can get this done by Halloween. Hopefully we can kind of start the construction today. And then by the end of the month, we can take a look at a finished product. Alright, how tall is that now? One, two, three. One two three four I want that first floor to be kinda kinda menacing so we'll go one more and then I don't know if we're gonna use mangrove planks again for the ceiling see it needs to go higher than that so I'm gonna go one more so that's probably our second floor right there what do you think is that high enough to be kinda like spooky I think so without being like this is house is going to be 800 stories tall type of thing <laughs> make two floors and an attic absolutely says lazy kitty yeah we're gonna totally have the second floor and then an attic floor and then this ride will somehow go through it too I'm not sure how we'll do it but maybe this way we can open up uh, some of the rooms and the ride doesn't have to be so tight it'll be interesting very interesting. <laughs> Oop. Okay. And oh, I need to go one more. One more of these. Dude. It's all about the sound effects. This would have took like 500 years of lumber gathering. For sure. 500 years of lumber gathering going on here. I just heard um, a bark. <laughs> Zoop. <sighs> Whoop. All right, there's a wall. Oh, that's a really fancy front uh, coffering, whatever you call it. That looks great, Ben Ultra. Nicely done. And I'll just start adding in a floor. Maybe what I will do is I will make a fake floor ring and we don't have to fill this floor in entirely yet it's just kind of like that's the second floor 
Then we can build up again to another floor. We'll probably want to show on the outside of the building where the second floor is to give it that that look. Um, so we might we might make a band, um, an interesting band. And I'm just gonna put, I'm not gonna use this, we're not gonna use this wood for sure, but I'm just gonna put that there as a marker. That's where our, our floor is. Um, but we might dress that up as a, in a different color. I think we'll do that. And so now we'll go up another, another five blocks. So watch and hang in as we build. I think it'll be make itself more clear. Oh, what? <laughs> how did that catch on fire? <laughs> ben Ultra's burning the building on accident. Oh, no. So there is still... Uh, we need water. Oh, my gosh. What happened? <laughs> he was trying to make a fireplace, and, well, that got out of control fast. <laughs> well, so there's still some danger. There's still some danger in the game when you're not having... Um, mobs chase you down you, you got fireplace fires <laughs> oh gosh oh my that looked pretty cool i was like i was confused i'm like what what is that at first like how is this burning what what sort of um decoration you got going there <laughs> our haunted house has already flooded out um as for yeah that's actually a pretty good spot for a chimney i'm good with it I was going to say I put the chimney in the back, but we've got a ride there, so that's actually just fine. It's a really good spot. <laughs> just not on fire. It's so hard to get in the <laughs> Oh, we got like a little lake of water going down here. That is so funny. Oh, see the pitfalls of building a haunted house. It's already haunted. We're definitely on an old skeleton uh, dungeon. Something down there caused that, that to happen. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. So we're continuing to build here a little more here. Get the we got to get the main footprint of our house. And if you want to request something in between this episode and 56, like something we should put in the haunted house, put it in the comments. Say, hey, you need to have like a bathroom with a spinning toilet, or um, I wouldn't even know how to do that, but something something fun like that. Don't don't forget to shy off and say do that don't be shy is what I'm trying to say um, and we can do that right now I just kind of want to get like the general building look um, for today's episode we got to see what it looks like I think I need to go up one more ring one more ring one two three oh a couple more rings of wood here the haunted mansion or is it a squanchion? Everything always has to have an SQ or an L attached to it. If we're talking squirrels. I got the I got to the floor, says Lazy Kitty. Oh, so she Lazy Kitty has been working really hard on getting the minecart ride to the the cave scene. Uh, let's kind of check out where she where she's worked. There she is. She's got a creeper friend right next to her who's followed her up. So she's thinking, okay, we're going to swing down here. And then we're going to swing down here and swing down here again. And then swing down here. She, that's a lot of work, Lazy Kitty. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's really cool. So, yeah, we'll swing around inside this cave. Um, exactly how. We're, we're still working on that. But that looks great. Nicely done. Nicely done. And I want to go around one more perimeter now. Ooh, nice skull art down there. Perfect theme. Perfect theme. As we're definitely taller than the Squirt Museum at this point. And I wouldn't be surprised if this thing is going to be taller than the llama by the time we get through with it. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to do this, this top floor. I'm going to have to go look at haunted house designs. Kind of figure that out. But this would be our second floor area. And then we'll have to roof off somehow that last floor. Whoop. All right, what do we got for height now? One, two, three, four, five, right? One, one, two, 
three, four. Ah, I can't count. One, two, three, four, five. So the roof is going to actually come in right there of the floor. The roof of the attic. But we might squeeze the building in a little bit. This is all just preliminary, preliminary uh, building structure thing. Nothing set in stone yet. Uh, sometimes you just gotta build. You just gotta build sometimes and then you can go, oh, that was horribly wrong. I'll need to take that out and put this in. And that's the whole process we love about Minecraft building. And I'm just gonna build a perimeter there and then I think we'll be good with the second floor ring. And as for the roof construction, I think we're gonna have to wait a little bit on that and figure that out at a certain point. Okay, look at that, there we go. There is kind of the ring of our haunted, am I in the backyard? I'm in the backyard. Uh, let's go to the front yard. Yeah, this is definitely bigger than the Squirt Museum. Definitely bigger. Oh, easy. <laughs> we've even got some cobwebs growing on it. Perfect, absolutely perfect. There, and there's skulls, there's skulls in the front yard. There's a burning villager zombie in the front yard. This is perfectly already themed. Look at that. So yeah, we're gonna be like, okay, hey, everybody come into the haunted mansion. This is when it's just kind of started. The squanchin, maybe we'll have to squirrel theme this up at some point. We'll come in here, we'll be like, oh, hop on the ride, and you'll go, oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, right next to Ben Ultra's fireplace. Nicely done, and it's not burning down the house right now. And maybe in this area, we might be tearing this part of the track up to go into the second floor yet. I'm not sure. This might be a great spot to track up onto the second floor where we would go around maybe and then come back down to the um, cave part. We'll just have to figure that out. There's a lot of planning in here. There is so much planning. But, you know, that's the funnest part of this. So yeah, lots of fun inside here. I'm gonna start working on the roof now just so we can kind of get that into focus before we call it. Uh, a few things have happened out front here. Ben Ultra is working on the facade of the building, trying to make it spookier. We've given it some deep slate bricks and some other bricking he's working on. Oh, you'll probably want to go all the way around the whole perimeter, actually, with that dude. You'll want to go all the way around as a second floor, um, kind of that curtain of stairs. I'm going to work over here and add in the roof, and I'm going to kind of guesstimate... Usually a haunted house mansion has that like classic like pitched roof at first and then a flat top. I'm not really sure of the architectural callings of it, but I'll, I'll just kind of test something out really quick. Usually it's kind of a, a tile, a black tile look, so maybe these blocks would be perfect. I have to come out a little bit as an awning, uh, give, give our ground floor some rain cover. Perfect day for rain, isn't it? Uh, it's always nice when you're building construction and all of a sudden rain comes in. Because you're like, what, what, where, when? So anyway, um, the awning, I'm just going to test something right here, right? Right here, I suppose. And it's going to kind of go, it's going to stair step up like so. And then at some point, we'll flatten it out. And there will be an attic room. It just won't be as, as wide as the rest of our house. So maybe kind of like that will be will be what we're looking at and we'll do it on each side here so I'll come in over here now and we'll build around here right now I'm just kinda of test fitting it's not it's not a hundred percent it's just a test fit plan there you go Ben Ultra he's building the balcony because you want to kinda of have have this ability to walk all around and maybe the ride will pop out of the balcony at some point too there'll be a door it pops out uh, and rides around the the curtain there. Um, that's the hardest part. We're going to probably spend a little bit of time off screen doing a um, railroad layout of like, what are we going to do here? Because we, we've got so many fun ideas for our ride to terrorize you and the passengers. Okay, so am I doing that right? Was I, was I coming in here? One more? And this could be opened up. It doesn't have to be uh, closed. Oops, that just looks silly now. Okay. 
So yeah, something like this is what I'm thinking. Let's do a, a beam right here so I can kind of get get an idea. Get an idea of how this is going to come together. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I've heard rumors uh, Count Squeakula might be living up in this attic. We just might see. Let's pull back a little bit here. Yeah. There we go. That's probably what we want. I don't think we want to go much taller. So this right here would be the roof. Let's go on this side really quick and add this part of the roof. This part of the roof in. If I can get there. Um, oh, I've got to go. I've got to con extend my um, curtain around the roof. Again, perfect day for rain. Perfect day for rain. There's so many fine details we're going to have to add. So many details. Can't wait to kind of step a really far back look here and see what we've got. It's going to be excellently awesome. What's your favorite candy? Anybody have a favorite candy right now? My favorite candy is Skittles. We'll have to have a Skittles room, a Skittles themed room. Bury you in Skittles. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to just continue this. Was it this one? Yeah. <laughs> continue this here as a beam. Episode 55 coming at you. Hopefully, in episode 56, we'll be ready to take a ride. So, we've got some work to do in the next few few weeks. But it's fun to kind of share with you the uh, main construction of our building. I'm going to come around this way. And, oh, it's looking so cool, so spooky. The creepers are getting magnified to it. Keep seeing little ghosts floating around. The ghosts are now coming out. They're, they want to hang out here at our haunted mansion. One more. Okay, now I'll just do a perimeter, and I, we won't need to fill in this entire roof. I'm just kind of, kind of giving you a footprint of what the roof is going to kind of feel like. It's kind of that creepy thing, and I think it'll be flat, flat above this line, or it might actually recess back in a little bit. Um, we'll see as we go. Oop. Okay. Man, there's going to be a lot of water damage because it, all it does is rain. All it does is rain in our castle. Oop, that's the wrong one. This one right here. Then this right here. Hope I got this right. I hope it leveled out just right. Kind of, kind of building on the fly. And then just for fun, I'm going to add in a add in a fake top roof. Um, let's use a different material. Let's just use some smooth stone. That's kind of a well, that would have been a great out outside look. <laughs> now looking at it, but uh, haunted house has to be wood. But this will be kind of like the fake roof for now. They might put a skylight in there. I'm not sure. We'll we'll see. We want it dark though, so we don't want to go in too too much light. We don't want to add in too much light. So let me finish this floor real quick. Well, at least I've solved the water problem inside the main house. <laughs> we no longer have water damage. Uh, there's still a little bit, but 
Not so bad. Okay, so there we go. There is our main frame of our haunted house. Let's check out what Ben Ultra's been doing. So there we go. Obviously a lot more work to be done with it. A skeleton is at the front door. Love the railing. Good choice there. Nice and spooky. Ride might come through here. We're not sure yet. Uh, there's our front door. <laughs> it's a zombie just sitting there like you can't decide what to do. Hello. Hello. He wants to come inside. And so now, you know, oh, we still have a little rain damage in here. They're loving it, though. The mobs are loving it. They're like, this is a home for us. Thank you, Squirrel Stampede. You made a home for us. Now we have somewhere to hang out. A little bit of test artwork on the wall. Looking good. Oh, this is going to be spookifying. So we're just going to have to kind of figure out the pathway of this ride. Right now it's just kind of on the floor, but we're going to move up second floor. We're going to move up. Uh, downstairs into the cave. Um, there goes a <laughs> there goes a zombie on the ride. Are we giving zombies rides now? He got his head stuck, so you're gonna have to figure out that. Um, and then we want to kind of go back here and have a little graveyard action too. Graveyard? Why do I keep going into graveyard? Um, we'll have to make a big bowl of gravy for me in the graveyard. Don't forget the bowl of gravy. And yeah. So that's where we're at. That's our great house. Thank you for watching today. Let's just finish off by kind of going over here and looking at it from maybe the Squirrel House perspective or maybe the Squirt Museum first. But thank you everybody for watching. Send in more squirrel pictures for sure. Look at that. If it wasn't raining so hard, we'd be able to take a better look at it. But um, there it is, the Haunted Mansion. And we will keep adding on. It's like it's, it's dwarfing the beetroot restaurant over here. <laughs> Pretty good scale to the Squirt Museum. Let's kind of fly up here a little more to the Christmas tree. And yeah, there we go. We'll finish off up here on the top of the star. And kind of look at that. Look how big it is. That is so huge. And it's going to look even bigger, I think, once we add in like the territory around it. Might be the biggest building in our land. And there is the new Iron Golem Fortress 2 hanging out, just watching over the land. And that's what we have to say about that today. Thank you so much for joining in at Squirrel Stampede Gaming. We're back for the fall. Uh, last week we checked out uh, Rainbow Friends, and we may hop into Roblox again soon, but we got to finish up our Haunted Mansion first. So stay tuned for the exciting conclusion of our Haunted Mansion. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be nuts, I tell you. <laughs>